Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I got a pretty cool wood chipper to review for you guys. This is the wood chipper Xylo Chip 500T version 1.0. You will need the IT runner to connect this to. This is available on all platforms, PC, Mac, PS4 and Xbox One. The file size is 12 megabytes and uh, this is a placeable. That's what you see there, and that's capable of holding 400,000 liters of wood chips. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over to the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I will test them out and show you just how they work. So, let's get started. Okay, we'll start on over here with this really cool wood chipper. This is the wood chipper Xylo Chip 500T version 1.0. You will need an IT runner for this, guys. If you do not have one, I will, I'll provide a link for you down below. It's actually going to be Firmer Andy's Universal Cote Pack and the uh, Universal Trailer comes along with it, the IT Runner stuff. So yes, once again, this is 12 megabytes. Price in the shop is $84,000 with $120 a day maintenance fee. Has a capacity of 5,000 liters and like I said, it's available on all platforms. So this is self-powered. You can uh, hook that to a tractor but uh, you can actually turn the tractor off and it'll still power up. You can actually get inside this the same as you can with a vehicle. You can go inside of it there, it says enter. And uh, yeah, you can unfold it there with the X key. Press the O key to extend the pipe. And then the uh, B key to turn it on, of course. But you have to uh, start it up first. Will this start on the ground, I wonder? Yep, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So you can just like lay that on the ground and use it from there. You'd have to have a pretty small tipper though, but uh, pretty cool. Let's fold this back up and we'll shut it down. And we'll go over to the shop and look at that momentarily. But for now, we're going to move next door and look at the mod that comes with it. Now, this is kind of cool if you don't have a storage for your wood chips. This comes along with it. This will be located under the placeables and the wood chipper will be located under the uh, the forestry equipment, of course. This is the wood chip storage placeable. Price in the shop is $10,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee and it's capable of holding 400,000 liters of wood chips. Go over to placeables here. There is your storage for your wood chips that goes along with that, like I said. and. Go over to your forestry section and that's where you're going to find your wood chipper right over here. So yes, if you get Farmer Andy's Cote Pack, I'll give you the uh, link down below. It's going to be under that category. See the tank here, Universal Technology? It's going to be under there and there it is there. So you will need this. There is some mods out there of uh, like different Mack trucks that have a flatbed and they also have the hook on it so you, they can pick it up so if you have one of them it'll also work but uh, you will need at, at the least this here so I will provide the link for you guys down below okay we get an IT runner trailer here this is multicolor from Randy's is multicolor and you'll need that to pick that up just grab a tractor here start it on up and we'll grab our IT runner trailer pick that up then we'll keep back and right up to our wood chipper. Okay, we'll stop right there. We'll press the X key to extend our hook. So once again, this is available on all platforms, so nobody nobody misses out on this one. Just back up to it. Press the Q key to connect to it, and then X again to retract. So remember, you don't have to keep the trailer hooked to this. And be careful when you're if you use the teleport mod, guys, because that likes to leave the trailer and you're going to do a bunch of flipping and flopping in the air. So just uh, be very careful with that. Okay, let's back up to this trailer here. And we'll get ready for a little bit of forestry here. Okay, so I am just going to disconnect from this right here because I don't need the tractor. That way I can use my scorpion to cut the logs and I don't have to worry about dragging them across the top of the tractor here. 
So let's jump out of that. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Let's jump inside our uh, wood chipper here. We will unfold it. Put the pipe out. Might be a little too close there. Yeah. I'll just fix that with the truck here. <laughs> Look at the thing going right through the side. I'll just completely turn around. So yeah, it's high enough to reach these big cramp tippers, so that's good. Okay, we'll leave you right there. Jump back inside here. Turn it on. So if you have your auto uh, ignition on, you don't have to worry about it. But I, uh, I use mine. The enter key. You can turn it on. And you might have to do that anyway, because once you get out of it, it may turn off if you don't have your auto ignition on. So you might have to keep that in mind. Let's go find our scorpion now. It should be here. It is. Okay, now let's cut some logs and see how this all works. Now I already tested this. It worked great. There's no errors in the log, by the way. Log f or uh, error-free log. It's always nice to see. Okay, let's cut this tree. I'm gonna bring my HUD back up so I can see how long I'm cutting these logs. Okay, eight meters way too long. I'm gonna go with three meters. It's probably a nice uh, length that it's not too long and not too short. I'm gonna try to drag this up long ways so I can uh, get it as square to that conveyor belt as I can. Okay, let's get rid of that. So that's hitting that thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'll just be careful here, that's all. Okay, three meters. Let's try that, guys. Hopefully that's not too long. Okay, that seems to work out pretty good. Excellent. The only thing I don't like about these type uh, wood chippers is I wish they had sides on them so that you could assure the logs wouldn't roll off. Because you'll notice when I'm cutting the pieces, the tree is moving ever so slightly. So you got to kind of be careful of that. You get to adjust for it every time. And you might want to wait until it starts taking it in so you don't knock your log off at your next one. That one may... Oh, no, not too bad. Pull that ahead a little bit more. So that's working out just great, guys. You can see the wood chips coming out there. Very nice. Nice little wood chipper. I really like that. And I like how it's self-powered, too. You don't have to keep the tractor hooked to it because I'd be dragging that tree right across the top. Now, on the website, it showed somebody using a, uh, like, the buffalo. This depends how much patience you have and your skill with the uh, with the scorpion. If you're pretty good with the scorpion, you shouldn't have any problems doing it straight up like this. Just keep your pieces straight and uh, you should be good to go. So let's try one more tree here, guys. Looks like I might have moved that a little bit. Okay, there's a couple of big ones over here. Chop up one more. Oh, there's a big old hill. There's one. Let's drag that one back. So I definitely like this mod. Very cool idea. I usually use the body of the scorpion to straighten the tree out. Try to keep it as straight on with the conveyor. You shouldn't have any problems. Put that up a little bit over. And like I said, I'm cutting them about three meters. That seems to be a pretty good length. Any more, you might be uh, start hitting things. It's almost kind of hitting there. And it seems to be working out pretty good, though. Uh, 
Got some different camera angles there. A couple more pieces here, guys. That worked beautifully. I would just kind of be patient, that's all. Try not to cut too many pieces at one time because you know that's only going to lead to disaster. They'll start rolling off the side and everything else, so look at that. Wow, I got quite a bit in there, guys. Look at that, 35%, 70,000 just with those uh, two trees, so that's not bad. It's going to be some tight driving here. That'll just put your reversing skills to the test. And there we go. That works just fine. Very nice. Okay, let's come around to the side here. Oh, and try to get it out of there again. And there we go. Excellent. So, there you have it. That was the Woodchipper Xylochip 500T version 1.0. You will need the IT runner to uh, work that, and I will leave the link for Firmware Andy's Universal Cote Pack down below, which includes the IT runner. File size for this is 12 megabytes, and don't forget this uh, Woodchip storage unit is also included in there. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.